Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. Pal, so have you ever thought about, you know, like adding organic cleaning services or doing specifically only organic cleaning services? Well, if that's something you've thought about, stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to cover four products that you can actually use, you can create from scratch that I personally use and I've created them myself and they work fantastically. You ready? Let's go. So the first one I'm going to talk about is glass cleaner. Now glass cleaners, a lot of times people are concerned about the streaks if they do organic cleaning, but I have tried it and if you actually use water and distilled vinegar, it works fantastically. So I actually use both side by side and I am here to tell you that you could not tell the difference when it came to the organic and the natural. Number two, we're going to talk about toilet bowl cleaner. Now all of you have probably used toilet bowl cleaner when it comes to commercial cleaning and you've probably noticed that it's really, really strong and you don't want to have to use this with some of your clients as more and more clients and customers cleaning customers are looking to go organic. Like I said, this is a sweet spot that you can really, really explore and really scale your cleaning business rather nicely and quickly. So the second thing is toilet bowl cleaner. You want to use baking soda, half a cup of baking soda. You then want to use a couple of essential oils. I love lavender. It's one of my favorite, or you might want to use pine. And you want to use about 10 or 15 drops of that. And then you want to use a half a cup of vinegar. Mix it all together. You can put it in a blender. I love doing it that way. And voila, you have a very, very nice natural organic toilet bowl cleaner that you can use. And I love this because this isn't just for residential. It is especially designed for commercial as well. Number three, we're looking at a surface cleaner. Um, I use all kinds. I've used some of the ones on Amazon, some brands when it comes to Zep brands from Home Depot. I've used Johnson Johnson. I've used all kinds. And this organic cleaner that I actually created, got the, um, got the ingredients from various websites, tried it out myself, and I love it. So what do we need? We need half a cup of vinegar, a teaspoon of baking soda. We need to have a liter of warm water. You want to make sure you get a spray bottle, a really cute one that you can use. And then like when you're doing your cleaning, you want to make sure that you have everything labeled in your spray bottle. So everything's the same. You want to take a couple of lemon rinds and put those in there so that it also has a nice smell. And then you want to make sure that you actually use and put in a little bit of rosemary. I love a little rosemary and squeeze a little lemon. Now you can use essential oils, 10 to 15 drops always works really, really well. And voila, you will have an organic spray, surface spray to clean counters and things like that, sinks and all of that. So there you go with your restroom cleaner. And number four, number four, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite. I use Febreze throughout my home, but I know that when I've gone into a lot of commercial buildings, a lot of individuals are very, very sensitive to scent and smell. So once again, the fourth thing you can do, I love doing organic you know, cleaning. And this is something, like I said, you can actually add, you can do it independent, all on its own, start a little niche. That can be that one thing that I talk about, your earning system, that differentiator that separates you from all the other. And so number four is a postery spray. So what do we need for that? We need a cup of baking soda. We need our 10 to 20, or I'm sorry, 10 to 15 drops of essential oils. I like using lavender. And then a cup and a half of water. That's it. I love the scent. I've sprayed it throughout my home. I've taken it and used it with different uh, commercial cleaning or if I'm doing government cleaning, anything outside of my home, anything outside of residential, it's worked fantastically. And I always also squirt just a little bit on the trash liners in the trash can. I love adding that little extra scent to each office. So if you squirt a little bit on the liner, it works beautifully. So these are four actual products that you can create right at home 
the ingredients are really, really very, very expensive. And this is something that you can do to add that extra oomph, that extra little niche to what you're looking at doing. Remember, I always say you want to, the, the riches are in the niches or in the niches or in the niches. However you want to say it, the riches are there. When you separate yourself, remember, when you go to the physician, you don't want to see a generalist, you want to see a specialist. So these four things can be added to your cleaning. And before you know it, you may want to look at doing organic cleaning services. So if you'd like to know more on how to attract, how to acquire, how to retain, all of that, then make sure the next step, sign up for my free masterclass where I go over all of this and more, what you need to actually scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. Pow! And that's using government or commercial. Until next time, be safe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.